hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i created this flyer in coral drum very simple steps that you'll be able to flow it even as a beginner or a professional and at the end of the day we will all arrive at this so if you don't mind Kindly hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and make sure your notification is turned on so you won't miss any videos I'll be dropping from now. So let's go on. So click on file and um, the first thing you should do is give it a name. Right, so I'm gonna give it this name like this, and everything stays like this, RGB inches, and click OK. Alright. Double click on the rectangle to create a new one and I'm going to fill it with white. Alright. Great. So I'm just going to zoom close to see things in real time. Alright. So I'm going to take a rectangle again and draw on that one. This time it's going to be small like this and it's going to be in the middle. So I'm just going to bring this out like this. And press P on your keyboard to centralize it. So I'm going to click on this, which is the background, and okay. So I'll just go and bring it. I'll bring um, the first element of the design, which is this image. The link to download these things are in the description of the video. So do well to click on the link. In the description of this particular video All right so of course i would like to sample color from the image so that's the major reason why i had to bring her in at this point in time got to feel this white so always learn to work with colors that are in your uh that are part of your elements right great so good So I'm going to control C, control V to make a duplicate copy of this. And I'm going to put this here, just like this. Make it slightly bigger. Put it here like this. And um, I'm going to transparency. And I'm going to set this to overlay. All right, so that's the first thing. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is Go over to effects, adjust, image adjustment lab. And you can use my settings. Right? So saturation, just use everything just the way it is. So I can increase my contrast to make the dark parts um, sharper. I'm going to click OK. Right? So this is what I have. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Ctrl C, Ctrl V, copy and paste. Power clip, and I'm going to place it inside here. Right? You can see it's inside. But I want to put it in place. So click on Edit and um, bring this here. Just like this. okay so now that it's in place i'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and put this here right so when i'm done i'll just hold down control and click outside or click on finish okay so now that that's out of the way you can see it inside so I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this. I put this aside and I'm going to use my 
and um, I'm going to type this out like this so I'm just going to go ahead and use the font that I used which is Morganite then again the resource file is in the description of this video so do well to click on the link to get it so using my shape tool I'm going to bring these two together like this and I'm going to change the size make this bigger like this increase from the edge make sure you hold down shift use it great okay so next thing i want to do is i want to put these images inside this text but to do that the first thing i'm going to do with the text is to convert it to curve so how do you do that right click and click on convert to curves like this then voila and then right click on this while selecting it and click on power clip inside and select the friday but we have the problem here it's not in the middle right so it's not in place so click on it and press p on your keyboard to centralize it to the middle when you are done uh, you can click out and click finish right great click finish adjust and when you are done click finish like this I'm going to bring this one inside shift page up and um, so that it's above every other thing if you need to make it bigger make it bigger like this and um, I'm going to use my shape tool to bring this down like this make this bigger like this okay so now you have this in place well like this right so this is where you want to have this so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the rectangle and i'm going to draw a rectangle like this from this part here to this point right great and um let's see Using the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select the color from this part and just put it here. Remove the outline like this. It's all gone. Click on transparency and I'm going to move from white to black. Right? Always remember black conceals, white reveals. Alright, so this to just get a good blend of what we want. I'm just going to position this well like this. There you go. Move this upward like this. And voila. Okay. Okay. So I haven't done that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control while I click on this black color to make it darker, a darker shade of the color that we used. Can you see that? most of the colors we used is like a shade of the first color that we use so that's another th um, tip when you're designing so make sure that the colors are not clashing and you have colors that actually go well with each other so i'm just going to arrange this well and um, blend it well So next thing I'm going to do is click on the rectangle. I'm going to draw another rectangle again. So I feel like this entire design has just been for rectangles, rectangles. Using my shape tool, I'm going to make the edges round like this. And I'm going to extend it. Take it up like this. I'm going to change the color to white remove the outline always remove the outline very important so I'm just gonna make this um, 
smaller here and place it somewhere here so with this selected um, give it this color so I can see what I'm doing clearly select the two of them and click on what trim when you're done with it click on this and press delete we no longer need its services again so to spice things up just a little bit I'm just going to bring in some text so it's going to be funky Friday right so I'm just going to do something different with this this time of course make this slightly bigger not too much I think I like the size this way of course use this color And I'm going to go on to type the next thing, which is Friday. And I'm going to change the text. So I'm just going to put this and move this in place. And also give it the same color for with that of the funky and um, move it in place okay so so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw this rectangle here make it rounded colors like the first one we drew and increase it this way and i'm going to use the darker shade of this color I can come over to the black here, move the outline first and come over to the black, hold down control while you click on the blacks like this to make it darker. Alright. But I want this behind. So what you do is hold down your shifts and page down or control page down. I'm going to add a blur to it just this way and the advantages of this is I can actually change the color to any color of my choice when I've done this right you can see how nice it is but then I would like to stick with what I know so I'm just going to come here and use this color or something darker I'm going to add black to it and that's all so that's how I created this um, shadow behind this Funky Fridays. Select all of this and um, take it up. So um, it's time for me to add some other details to it. So with this, I'm just going to speed this video up to do that. okay so there you go so let's move on to some other interesting things and um, the next thing i'm going to do is i'd like to go over to my resource file and um, make some slight adjustment so i'm just going to come over here and bring in this white image just drag and drop inside like this right click on it and i'm going to rotate it like this now the goal is to put it inside there so right click and power clip it make sure you are selecting this white please 
if you need to move things out of the way to make sure you're selecting the right thing you can please do that to make sure you're doing the right thing all right so i'm just going to mirror this and click out you can see how nice this is inside of the design okay so the next thing i want to do is i want to add this so i call it this particular image the final spice to this particular design so what i'm going to do with this is i'm just going to use this to make it an effect so follow my steps and do the same thing too so if you've done this thing you see that this white is inside so turn this back to black and click on the outer part and bring it back to zero and you can then increase it like this and take it up take it outside like this so when you put this inside here like this you can see the extra effects that this has added but then we need to be very very careful so it doesn't cover up some of the intricate um, details for this design right great So I'm just going to change five, five, five by five, and um, so it's still selected. I'm just going to press Control Page down, take it, take it down, select all of this, Shift Page up, and then of course I have to fix this. So how do I fix it? Control page down. So it's behind that. Okay. So I'm going to extend this and extend this this way. Great. okay so nicely done the next thing i want to do is i'm going to still take my rectangle of course it's a rectangle design you can see how much you can do with just a rectangle in coral draw so right select the color from this part add it to this remove the outline click on shape to double click and take this up Great. So I'm just going to go over and add my details to it. okay so time and i'm going to change the font to what i used change the color then make it small still gonna make it smaller yes so move this outside like this and position this well this way Great. Okay, guys. All right, guys. So this brings me to the end of this particular video. If you like this video and you like the outcome of this flyer, please click the like button. And um, above all, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. And when you're subscribing, don't forget to turn on notifications so you miss any of the videos that I'll be dropping anytime from now.